ends tonight. And the topic here prior to tip off, so many teams in the league going up tempo these days. Kenny, as a player, did you like that style? I, I'm assuming you had to love it. Because the one thing about playing up tempo, Ernie, it brings you back to the roots of the game why you started playing. If you ever go to a pickup game, you ever go to a park game, no one's stopping play and calling plays. They're going up and down. The big fella Shaq, when he first came into the league, the first thing I saw was him grab the ball, coast to coast in the All-American game. That's what players want to do and people want to see. You know, that was a great example, Kenny, but towards the end of my career and most of my career, I was honestly more of a half-court player. I was pretty fast for my side, but my strength was my biggest edge. In the half-court, Barbecue chicken alert. I had to put that work in, Ernie. That uh, about wraps it up for here. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again later. That's the fifth barbecue chicken. Alert. It's Saturday night and live on 2K Sports. We've got the excitement of the NBA for you tonight. Kevin Harlan here along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. We've got the visiting team facing the home team. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. They've got Exum. Be out the out there with Aaron Baines. Then it's Bogut. And it's Mills in at the point. Shot by Detome, no good. Four on three as they bring it up. Mills with it. No one near him. The offensive rebound. Pass to Barnyan. And Patrick Mills gets that whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Greg, those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Pick by Bargnani. Here's Bellinelli. And there's the pass to Hackett. Just three to shoot. That drops. Tomei's got his first three points of the game. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't DM up more tightly on the perimeter. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Kevin, thank you. I was able to talk with Lionel Hollins for just a moment. I asked him about the matchup problems created by a player like Andrea Bargnani, a seven-foot sharpshooter. He said he can give us problems, no doubt. It's tough to really bother that shot, and he can also put it on the deck and drive. We've got to just get into his body, try to make him a facilitator rather than a scorer. Kevin will see if they're successful. Thanks again, Doris. Guys, Bargnani was compared to several other international players when he came out. Some said he was Nowitzki. Others thought he might be more like Yao Ming in terms of impact. Ming was the only other player taken one overall who had never played high school or college hoops. Gone two or three here to start out the game. Covered by Bogut. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And that's good as he hits both of his shots gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. There's a screen. And here's Mills from the arc. No good. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. In the corner, it's Bellinelli. Passes it to Hackett. Now the feed to Bargnani. The dish to Detoma. 
over to the left wing. That's a two from Bellinelli. Rebounded by Exum. Well, he used his body well to lean around the defender. It's always going to be difficult to convert that shot, though. Has to be. Bogut says a screen for Exum. Off the screen. That's tipped. There's Baines. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Baines has got his first two points of the night. Just couldn't get a hand in the face on that one. That's using what you got. He's got a height advantage, put it to good use there, and got himself a clean look. Kicks it to Bellinelli. Three-pointer, and he gets it to go. Bellinelli's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that D can afford to give him. Now, here's Mills, looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Baines, and Detome pulls it down. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. And so out of bounds it goes. No key possession. Well, close to picking that one off. Still a nice play to make sure that pass didn't reach its target. And the home team has possession. He kicks it to Bellinelli. Lock at six. It's deflected, and they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And now, let's bring you the list of the top three-point shooting teams over the course of the past ten games. The main factor, I, I think, is the great spacing. That has led to wide-open, long-range shots, and that's why we see the great numbers from the three. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. To the left wing. There's the screen. Dishes it to Mills. And it's Exum in the corner. Buries the long-range jumper. Exum's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Feeds to Dutoma. He dishes it to Bellinelli. Out to the right wing. There's the pass to Dutoma. Unloads. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Dutoma's got five. Yeah, just frustrated by their lack of production offensively. And I can't blame him. I mean, 